Hi everyone, welcome back. This is not a review of the Geek G1 SE casing, but some added information for you guys about how to get the 240mm AIO into place. As you can see, the focus is on the case, so my face might look a little bit blurred, but it's okay because our emphasis is on the setup. So if you remember my review, I used the NZXT Kraken M22. That was a rather tall, or should I say thick, 120mm AIO. It has um, the pump on the radiator. Okay, for this unit, I'm using the ID cooling of which I don't remember which model. There are some models from ID Cooling that has pump on the radiator. This is not one of them. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is the Frost Flow Plus 240. So this is my setup. And how I got the, the radiator part into the system is that I unhinged the plate that's holding the motherboard. So you can flip it around, as in you can angle it a bit. So the radiator portion of the AIO is able to enter the case. Now let's look at the bottom. The bottom mounts, as in the mounts for the fan, are not aligned with AIOs. So yes, while you can mount two fans, those eight holes will not match perfectly with AIO, so you can only mount four of the holes. And after that, let's look at the CPU block mount area of which you see if you can get the cables to go above the CPU block, that would be great. In my case, I did not manage to get it to be over the CPU block. So I get it to be a little bit higher than the CPU block. And when I run this system, however, um, there's, no, it's, there's no sloshing noise per se as in when I'm running, so seems okay. But what I notice is if I rattle or touch the casing or the table for a bit, I can hear some <laughs> So it's a sign that I shouldn't be putting it in um, this orientation. So you have to test it out for, in my case, I'm gonna dismantle this setup really soon because this is not suitable for it. Then after all things in place, you are only allowed one fan because of the space limitation you have only one fan to uh, be placed into the, this setup so it's whether you use it as a push configuration or pull configuration of which this i tried single fan pull configuration with this you should know that the the temperature control or should i say the thermal performance will not be as good as a full push configuration for a 240mm AIO. So that's it for this video. Some guidance on how to get it in and what are the issues that you may face if you ever want to put a 240mm AIO into the Geek G1 SE casing. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel and you like this kind of content, I hope you do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Coming soon on GoFries. The Acer Nitro 5 comes with a 165Hz refresh rate monitor, a Ryzen CPU, an RTX GPU, and it costs less than the desktop PC of a similar spec. Do check out my review really soon.